This radon fan is eight years old. It was installed eight years ago and it's being replaced because the fan bearings went and now it's making this loud humming, squealing noise. The previous installer installed a shutoff switch, so we will shut the switch off to cut electricity to the fan so we can safely replace the fan and the wires. I will be installing a Made in the United States RP145C Radon Away brand purchased at Home Depot. These Wago and Ideal lever connectors are rated for 20 amps of current. This fan at maximum use draws one amp max, and these are rated for 20, so these are perfectly fine to use in this application. On the fan outside, the Festa AMG Maverick. I will open this electrical access panel to first undo the electrical connections. This one already had some Wago or Ideal style connectors. We'll make sure the electricity is off. Both of these testers were tested previously to ensure that they do work. So we will start undoing these connections. So we have 12-2 Romex, and then it's full of these Wago connectors here. That's what we'll be setting it back up with. So we're going to remove the uh, supply wire. Next. It is connected to the PVC with these Fernco adapters and typical hose clamps. I will undo the hose clamp from the top and from the bottom so I can remove the old fan. The old fan has been removed. Those were the connections. The new one is installed. Got my hands a little bit dirty, but you just have to adjust these Fernco's here. They have hose clamps you have to loosen and you just kind of got to wiggle them a little bit and play with it to get it to fit but once it's all in place just tighten up your hose clamps and now all we have to do is connect the electricity and we are good to go so we have the power cable from the house my hands are dirty connected and we have a little lock nut there installed and now we have to hook up these wires from the house to the wires on the fan and it's your typical you know your load your hot black to black and then your common your neutral white to white this one doesn't have a ground so you just cap off the uh, ground or tuck it out of the way and we'll get these connected now the stranded wires from the fan were a little bit too long so i stripped them according to the strip uh, guide on the wago and now we will connect them like i said white to white and black to black. One nice thing about the Wagos is you can visually see that the connection is made securely. Then you just want to bend the wires out of the way enough that you can get the cover plate on and then we're going to apply some silicone caulk around here to seal it up so it's watertight. Now that it is installed I will go flip the power back on make sure it works and then I'll start closing some of this stuff up with silicone caulk but that's it then. The radon system is back on. That fan's working perfectly fine. It is significantly quieter. And on our water gauge here, we are showing that it's pulling a good vacuum suction, pulling air out. This was successful. One last thing to note is make sure you check the direction of airflow in the fan. They all are pretty much the same, but just double check it. But here it is running. significantly quiet so the last thing i'm going to do is right around there where the electricity goes in and just right along the bottom lip here i'm just going to apply some of that silicone caulking and that's it then